you have a favourite collection? You can use your collections to help you understand addition and subtraction. Here is an addition story. I have six cars. Uncle Greg gave me seven more. Here are my six cars. I need seven more cars, the cars Uncle Greg gave me. How many cars do you see? Let's make a group of ten by sliding four cars over to the group of six. You can easily see a group of ten and a group of three make thirteen. Here is the opposite story. Thirteen take away six. We can use the addition story to help us with the subtraction story. We know we have thirteen cars, now we need to take away six. Do you know how many cars will be left? You guessed it, seven. We have the same numbers, the same groups of cars. What is different is that we have different stories. One is an addition story, the other is a subtraction story. Could the connection between addition and subtraction work with big numbers? I have 18 cars and Murphy has 19. First we group our cars. We have 9 at the bottom and 10 at the top. On this side we have 10 at the top and 8 below. We have 18 on one side, 19 on the other. We can count our 10s and now our 1s. Could there be an easier way? What would you do? Could you make a group of 10? By moving one car from the group of 8 to the group of 9, we have made a group of 10. Can you see how many cars we have? Let's check. 10, 20, 30 and 7, 37. We grouped our cars and found that 18 plus 19 equals 37. Can you guess the subtraction story? Murphy has 37 cars. He gave 19 away. This is what 37 cars looks like. We take 19 away. How would you do that? I can see 7 cars here. By taking two cars from the other side, we can make a group of nine. Nine cars at the bottom, ten at the top, that makes nineteen. Thirty-seven cars, Murphy gave away nineteen, how many does he have left? How did you work it out? Murphy's happy. He has 18 cars. Do you remember our addition story? I had 18 cars and Murphy had 19. There is a connection between addition and subtraction, even with big numbers. The size of the numbers don't matter. There is always a connection between addition and subtraction. Understanding the connection between addition and subtraction makes subtraction easier and we can always check on our work and get it right. This is a fun way of checking that your addition and subtraction match. It's your turn. Did you like this movie? Click the button.